In this video, we line up popular Japanese hangout spots in Tanjung Paga, where it's an amazing place to chill out with friends after a hard day's work for good food and drinks. Let's find out. Welcome back to Food Finders in Tanjung Paga. This episode, we are back with Joy to explore new places. When you feel like something's tickling your nose, then you really, really, Today we are showing you some after work drinking and eating spots that are Japanese. Uh, so yeah. we do we have a challenge today? Yes, we do. We don't have a side challenge. Oh. Today we have okay. Oh, okay. Sketchy. Sounds... Yesterday. So this is the your secret mission. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to paste at least five stickers on set without him finding out. Okay. So the first spot we are at public izakaya here at Trust Street. In I think the... yeah, well. <laughs> Just a really good like izakaya late night drinking place with friends and colleagues. Let's go check it out. Cheers. I'm having a highball. I'm having a beer. Public Izuka is the only place that has the full range of Suntory draft in Singapore. Uh, what are we having today? Omakase Oden set. Chef just explained to us that there's different types of Oden across different parts of Japan, but this is the Kanto style, which is more known in Tokyo. I will take the radish because I love the radish. Love it's very like vegetable, but the soup base is a kombu or kelp base. You are supposed to eat match it with the mustard. Only for the fish cake? This is a really weird idea though, like because mustard is like an American thing. Whoa, whoa, the mustard is very strong. Okay, mustard adds a bit of like a kick. This is not the Western style mustard that you know. It's like definitely more Still like Japanese bit. style. So buta kakuni is pork belly. They brought in Spanish pork because that's like the highest quality. You get all the fat and the meat layers. You can't like split it apart. You have to like eat everything yes. together. Okay, just bite the whole thing down. Wow. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. It's so soft and tender. Ooh. It's like hong shao niu rou, but hong shao pork. I don't think the egg did much though. I think just by itself, it was really good already. Okay, we're moving on to this okay. croquet, yes. but with gyoza stuffings inside. Not that spicy actually. The sauce itself I mean, is this, good. This is like a gyoza sauce. Uh. I feel like I'm biased because like I always mm. come here and the taste is always like what I'm mm. familiar with. I think the sauce of this is really good. Oh wait, <gasps> like okay. Oh my god. Next dish. Oh, Holy liver. shit, oh, these are huge ass balls. Giant karaoke balls have arrived. Almost the size of my balls. I got big balls, big, big balls. The challenge with these big balls is getting the center cooked as well. It's very ginger inside. Oh, so hot. But the outside crispy part is really good. It was surprisingly very tender and not overcooked. I like that there's a lot of bite oh to it. There's a lot of meat in here. This is the Jaga Mantaiko. Very fishy, buttery. Fishy? It's fish roll. But it definitely tastes like Mantaiko on potato. I think could have like a little more Mantaiko though. Personally, I think it's a lot of carbs. Okay. I cannot eat that much because carbs. I will share something later about oh. me going on a diet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of There's them. There's ten. Shit. Okay, I'm taking the shishito pepper. <laughs> um, you can get the um, the charcoal taste from uh, the barbecue. I thought it was quite prominent. And the smokiness really comes through. Is it pork belly? No, pork uh, collar. Oh, that's really good. Nice amount of fats. These wings are really crispy on the outside. You can see that crisp. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Wow. Change your face. Try this. Is that wagyu? Like a wagyu. Oh, this is so That's tender. That's breakingly different. So great place for late night hanging out. Open until midnight. Let's nice. go out to the yeah. next place. Ooh. We are at Yayoi, which mm -hmm. is a... Japanese restaurant. <laughs> Yayoi is a Japanese Keishoku restaurant. Uh -huh. It's also the name of a famous... Uh, so we're gonna go grab some food now and then try it out. There's some drinks and sets involved. So let's go. This is the DIY Kaminabe. It's can, almost like a hot pot, right? Like you can just like choose Japanese hot pot. The nabe, yeah, yeah. Nabe is like Japanese hot pot, but it's also a Hokkien swear word. Nabe. I'm... You want some nabe? Yes, please. This is 
savory. Oh, it's very, it's very savory. Reminds me of like the sukiyaki soup, but more savory. Sukiyaki is like a bit sweeter. Yeah, this tempura is really good. With the radish and the dipping sauce, is so good. The prawns are de-shelled, which is amazing. I like that the fire would last 35 minutes. 35 days, pretty much your whole meal. Should we try the macaron now? The saba. I'm excited because it's deboned, and I'm a very lazy person, as y'all know. So ah. I always like it when other people ah. peel the stuff for me. Well, the restaurant did it this time. 99.9% .9 boneless. I like how that guy knows a lot. He is the brand ambassador, the, the brand best ambassador. brand ambassador. We have our R&D department debone the whole fish. Oh wow. 99.99% is boneless. We grow our own rice and oh, wow. you grow your own rice. Yes, but you won't have a tiny few rice. What the hell? The side dishes are refillable, was it? Rice, the rice. And miso soup and the pickles are refillable. Soup, okay. Okay. Rice, soup and, and the pickle. pickles. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You can eat bones? Mm -mm. No? Oh, wow. Mm, it's pretty good. It's very, very it's sweet. It's not like overly sweet. Like the, the packaged saba that you buy from like supermarkets. Mm. I like that it's quite natural mm -hmm. tasting. Mm. Just simply grilled. Let's pour some sake. This is um, Namasake. Yes! Yes! Mm. Oh, it is a Yume mm. Right. Wow, it's really refreshing. And it goes down really smoothly. Mm. None of that like sake aftertaste. We're trying the tonkatsu now. I really like how they do their breading. Yeah, the, the breading is so good. It's very light. It doesn't feel so starchy. The sauce is good. Super I'm genuinely good. like super impressed by what I've been, what I've eaten right now. Have you tried the shoga no, yake? No, I haven't yet? because okay. this this thing is blocking Let's my view. Let's try the shoga yake. Oh, okay. Mm. It tastes pretty Chinese. -ish. Actually, yeah, it does. I that's why maybe that's why it's like such a popular dish. Like it's comforting. Favorite dish. Oh, I think the tonkatsu. Mm. For some reason, I have never been into tonkatsu, but then mm. recently I've been eating a lot of tonkatsu, and mm. this is one of the better ones I've tried. Nabi? I think, I think oh, the nabi are very good. I really like the soup. It wasn't like overly sweet, but it still was quite flavorful. And you can customize it. So <clears> the fun yeah, that's pretty cool. I think it's a great stuff. family spot. Or like if you're on a date, and then you know, you can just like for after sit work. like side by after side, work. and you're like, hey, you know, like. What? <laughs> It's like a nice casual yeah. meal. Oh, don't forget. It's also and a really great price. Because, because we have $10 off when you come here and quote Seth Louis. Yeah. Say my name, say you my name. Off, off right. to the next spot. Do the you match your sake. No, sake. Let's clink. Okay, ready? Okay, ready. One, two. What? No, you go in together like that. Okay, oh, ready? Oh, we're at Tarasho Ramen and Charcoal Bar. We're here to try out more Japanese food yeah. with drinks. I like that they use egg try? white on both drinks. Yeah, I love egg white. Let's just try that. Let's just try this first. It's Wagyu. Mmm, okay, that was not bad. Potato fried with Wagyu fat. It's alright actually, like, I, I think for uni, it's not cheap. I'm actually not a fan of uni. But... You don't like uni? She no. I love uni. I like the chips more than that. Sorry guys, I'm a little I, peasant I girl like in a fancy shop. Shall we have this now? Okay. Unagi papadam, right? And it's like fried in like 12 spices and whatnot. A lot of the food here are very finger food tapas kind of carrying mm. portions. I think it's an interesting dish, but I think the unagi was a bit too fried, mm. or like the outside crust is a bit too fried, a bit too oily for me. Too oily, oh, I love it. But like with the mango, like the yeah. zest kind of helps to neutralize a bit more. Yeah. All right, last dish. Sukiman Singapore best. One thick piece of char siu. And the thickest noodles they have is uh, sukiman. These are pretty thick. Which is meant uh, for dicking. Di <laughs> Dipping, not dicking. Mm. Okay, it is very flavorful. Oh, very strong flavor. This does remind me of like a ramen I had in Japan, where it was like a sardine based broth, and it was very similar to this, like a very thick, like fermented flavor kind of thing. Do you like it though? I like it. I prefer soup ramen so, but like this is okay. The sukiman itself still has a certain degree mm. of firmness. It's very al dente. Yeah, it's very al dente. Yeah. I'm usually more of a soup ramen person. I think it's worth giving it a shot if okay. you like sukiman because yeah. the dip best is very very flavorful. So if you like that kind of best like sukiman. seafood, and the meat sauce is actually addictive enough that like I want to go back. Oh yeah, I can't eat that much carbs today because I'm supposed to lose weight. You're pregnant? No, wait. <sighs> today is actually two months away from my wedding. Mm. I'm getting married. Well, I have my dress made. And when I went back to my seamstress, I had gained weight. So I actually made the joke like, oh, should I do some weight? Then she said like, oh, can you? And I was like, oh. Why do you gain weight though? Like, what happened?
<laughs> so our final spot in Tanjung Paga. Hey, why you yawn? Because it's so hot out. It's too like hot. the heat makes me sleepy. And that's a separate restaurant upstairs. So it's called Goho. Uh, but yeah, we're here to try this place. Rabu Hen Roba. Let's go check it out. Ba ba ba. We're trying their Fish. two sets that they have. Mine's tango. And then jigo, yes. which is more spicy and strong. This is the hotate. We have salmon, saba, shime, shime saba. saba. Toro is tuna. tuna. Crab, and you have the engawa. And we have sake pairing to pair for mm. each of the rolls. So yep. they're supposed to elevate the taste of the rolls. Enough talking, let's okay. start rolling. Let's, I'm gonna try the salmon first. Try Fine, I'll do my hotate. Take a spoonful and then you Dump it onto the seaweed. Then I'm gonna roll and roll. So mine's supposed to go with sparkling sake. Shochi kubai. <laughs> I'm having a horai, which is junmai, ginger, oh. melon and strawberries. Yum. Bye. Did you like the hotate? Yeah. I like scallops in general, but this is like raw scallops, so it comes with little kombu um, bits on top. And I'm gonna try the saba. I shall want to try the toro. Okay, it's a bit spicy. Mine is definitely very clean. I'm mm. gonna have a bit of sake while I'm eating mm. my toro. That was quite nice. Good kick. Clean. I feel like that's definitely much more fresh and clean than these ones here. Yep. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Oh, oh, that's spicy. Ingawa mm. is really interesting. So this is not just crab, right? It's like the crab hit butter or like uh, crab brain spicy. It's like the yeah, whole yeah, part that like all the, the Chinese yeah, people the, love like to the eat. Like the hit very savory, very umami. You want to do spicy ingawa? ingawa? I kind of want to do the normal ingawa. Okay, I'll do a normal ingawa for you. Yours looks like the... the... <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry! Mm. Oh, smoky. I prefer the plain ingawa. Really? Yeah, there's too much of like the spice and the, like, the smokiness. I actually prefer the spicy ingawa. So far, I think jigo is more my jigo? style because I like a stronger Jigo-tansia. like flavor. I think the ingawa and the kawatsuru mm -hmm. is probably the best combo. This is rapu and we're gonna wrap, wrap up Ooh. the rapu wrap. We're gonna wrap up this episode. Bang. So we've come to the end of our Tanjong Paga uh, Japanese after work, after work episode. <laughs> okay, which place was the most delicious for you today? Oh. One, One, two, two three. three. Public Keishoku. Izakaya. Oh. oh. So shall the producers reveal what is the surprise? Okay, so today? what's what's happening? Throughout this entire episode, Joy has a hidden mission. Oh, she has a hidden mission. Ah! I don't have a hidden mission. Turn 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 slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, slowly. at the back. How would I have known? Okay, what's this? Room temperature. Oh, is that supposed to be a, a penalty? That's more like a reward. Okay, yes. Be generous with yourself. Of course, I'm always generous oh my with goodness. myself. I, uh, I did, but it, keep fall it kept falling off. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it for this episode. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye. In my hair? Yeah. Jesus. How? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs>